Hey guys, welcome back to Kaylee's Weekly Bible Lessons. Thank you all for coming to this video and I hope you all are having an outstanding week, the best week you can possibly have. Um, I have an announcement. I did just turn 13 yesterday. Yes, my birthday was yesterday and I just wanted to just say a little thank you to all of you out there who support me and anyone who got me a gift, money, um, just a gift in general or like a card, anything like that. I really appreciate you all. It really means a lot to me and I thank you all. Just thank you all because, you know, people don't have to be kind to us, but the people that do choose to be kind to us, those are the people that, you know, you we know that loves us. So I love you all and thank you all for loving me. Um, it takes a huge amount of kindness to get, you know, somebody a gift for their birthday. So thank you all again. And I'm about to get into my lesson. Here's my first point. People cannot hear about the word of God unless we guide them to him. That's just saying. That's good. That's just saying that we have to teach people. We have to guide people to him. They're just not going to. People are just not gonna, or just not gonna. Um, sorry, excuse me. People are just not gonna know about God. We have to teach it to to them. We have to live by the word. We have to walk by the word. And if we're not walking by the word, then people aren't gonna see that we're different. So that's why it's really important that we make sure that we are living out God's word. So then people will see that we're different and then we'll, we'll be, maybe they'll want to come up to us and ask us, a, ask us a question about, you know, why we're so different from others they see. And then that'll be an opportunity, opportunity for us to share with them why we're so different and who we're different for. So we always have to remember who we do things for and who we're sharing with because that's always, always very important. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The Holy Spirit, oh, excuse me. <laughs> if God says something is okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we just really need to remember that point. That's really good. If the Holy Spirit says it's okay, it's okay. That is just really straightforward. If, I know sometimes as Christians, we can be concerned that something we did wasn't okay. But if it aligns with God's word, it's okay. You know, sometimes I can be hard on myself. I can be like, man, Kaylee, were, was that okay? You know, was that, did that align with God's word? You know what I mean? Was that, was that okay? So whenever I pray or, you know, just spend time in God's presence, I just, he's just like, Kaylee, you know, everything's okay. Everything's all right. You know, you don't have to worry about anything. If God says it's okay, then it's okay. No race is better than uh, than the other. We're, <laughs> we're literally, this point is so relevant to our world right now because it's really just talking about where we are right now. No race is better than other. No religion, any faith is better than any other. Nobody's better than any other. The only person who's better than us is God. So everything goes back to God. That's why God's just so good because everything goes back to him why it's so good you know no no hmm, wow we've just dealt with so much in our world today so that's why it's so important to remember that nobody's better than any other nobody's better it's just that's the thing some people are better than us at some things not fully because i'm better at um i could be better at using um you with you know just talking to people or you can be better with um better than me with um writing essays or you know something like that remember you're always good at something but just remember you're not better than anybody else god shows no favorites that's exactly what i was just talking about god loves on all he's not there's no favoritism in the kingdom of god that's why that's why god's love towards us is so amazing he loves us so much and he loves a whole kingdom of people he loves all of us equally that's why no race is better than any other and that's why god doesn't have any favorites god loves us all 
whenever whoever fears and worships Christ is accepted. That's so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that one more time. Whoever fears and worships Christ is accepted. Okay, we're supposed to we're supposed to basically fear God. That doesn't mean we're supposed to be like necessarily afraid or scared of God. It just means we have to know my fearing him basically means that he's he has more power than us. You know what, what I mean? God has more power than us. So that's why we have to make sure that we're worshiping God, not ourselves, you know, not technology, not idols, anything like that. We're just making sure that we're fearing God, mean, meaning we're knowing that God's higher than us. Exactly. And worships Christ is accepted. Worshiping Christ is very important, especially um, in my family. Worshiping is a big part of our family. So whoever does those things is accepted into the kingdom of God. <laughs> okay. God is with those who are oppressed by the devil. <laughs> That's so good. God is with us. Always. No matter the circumstances, no no matter where we are, God is with us at all times. There can be some times when devil when the devil's on us more than usual. But that's good. Because if the devil's on you, then that's that means you're doing um showing God's will correctly. You're doing you're um building the kingdom of God. That's why the devil's on you. The devil's not on you because God forgot about you or anything like that. The devil's on you because you're sharing God's word even more. So just remember that God is always with us. We just, you know, we just have to acknowledge his presence. I've probably, I've said, talked about this before, you know, that God is always with us. So yeah, we are witnesses of Christ and we will be persecuted. That's what I've been talking about. We are God's witnesses. We're the ones who are supposed to be, we are supposed to be the ones sharing God's word. And we know that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. We're witnesses of that. So since we're witness, witnesses of that, then we're also going to be persecuted. Since he died on the cross for our sins, we're dying with him, basically. Not physically dying, but spiritually we're spiritually going to be persecuted. We're spiritually going to be hurt. But we're always going to have God to refer back to. We are, I'm going to make sure, <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that, um, you know, I'm stating this correctly. And Lord help me. So I, and I'm, you know, um, saying things correctly in his, in his word. So basically what I'm trying to say is we are witnesses. So we're going to be persecuted with God. We're going to be hurt. Yeah, we're going to be hurt. That's going to happen. So when things happen to us and we're, you know, like, what? God, why aren't you here? He's there. He's there. We're going through that rough season. It's because we believe. It's because we believe. So that's going to be my last point for today. For today and i hope that you all really got something out of today just know i just want you all to remember we're gonna be persecuted with god meaning we're gonna be hurt sometimes but we always have god's love to go back to we're witnesses of god and we must be fearful of god meaning we know that he's higher than us and that god is always with us he's always going to be with us so I really enjoyed today's lesson. So just make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post something new. And I apologize, I forgot to remember that those were previous notes from Acts. Romans has been so, so good, guys. So I'm really looking forward to um, preaching that to y'all soon when I get through my Acts notes. But um, I hope you all continuously have a blessed week. Remember that God is always with you. And um, I love you guys. All right. Bye.